Hello friends. So what are the basic differences between synchronous sequential circuits and asynchronous sequential circuits? So let us see what these differences are. Now before I proceed, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads. Now we should see the differences of synchronous and asynchronous based on these parameters. So first of all, let us see what is the definition. We can define synchronous sequential circuits as digital circuits wherein the feedback is given to the input to produce the output by clock signals. Right? So here the feedback is given to the input for the next output generation and that is done by giving in clock signals. So we know that the flip-flop is actually triggered by a clock pulse and that produces an output. But whereas in asynchronous sequential circuits, the output is not governed by clock signals. So this is not governed by clock signals. So that's very important. So this is one of the basic differences between synchronous and asynchronous circuits. So here all of them are governed by a clock signal, but here in case of asynchronous sequential circuits, the digital circuits wherein the feedback is given to the input and to produce the output, they are not governed by clock signals. When we talk about the state, now the states of all the synchronous sequential circuits are always predictable and reliable. Now what about the state? Now we can always predict the states of synchronous sequential circuits and the states of synchronous sequential circuits are always reliable. But whereas in asynchronous sequential circuits, there are chances that the circuits may enter into a wrong state because of the time difference of arrival of different inputs. And thereby you may have a race around condition which may exist. So therefore, the states of an asynchronous sequential circuit are not predictable and they are not very reliable. Now talking about the complexity, now the complexity of synchronous circuits, so how complex is it? So it is pretty easy to design synchronous sequential circuits, but whereas, but whereas asynchronous sequential circuits are quite difficult to design, so meaning that they are pretty complex. Now talking about the memory unit here. So the memory unit for a synchronous sequential circuit happens to be a clocked flip-flop. So a clocked flip-flop acts as a memory element, whereas an unclocked flip-flop or a time delay is used as a memory element. Now talking about the performance, now in sequential circuits, due to the propagation delay of all the clock signals reaching all the circuit elements, they are pretty slow. So therefore, synchronous sequential circuits are slower when we talk about the performance. Now here, in case of asynchronous sequential circuits, there is no clock signal delay and therefore this is much faster. Now what are the examples of synchronous sequential circuits? You have counters, then you have shift registers, etc. Whereas what about asynchronous sequential circuits? They are actually used for high speed operations, so wherever we need digital circuits which need high speed performance we use asynchronous sequential circuits so therefore they are actually used in the design of simple microprocessors and also in the design of digital signal processing units so they are also used for digital signal processing units in the design of VSP units so these are some of the fundamental differences between synchronous sequential circuits and asynchronous sequential circuits